Bye. <laughs> It's so nice to meet you. Meet you, you. Thank nice you for taking you the time today. Um, we are from Belgium, Khalid and me, and the movie will be released uh, next week. We've seen it yesterday, it's amazing. Cool, thanks. Can you describe the environment of that third movie? The third movie is very, very different. I think the first one, you know, you picture green, the second one, you picture sand, and this one is a city. It's an urban metropolis uh, that on the surface looks very modern and looks like it works very well, but is actually crumbling from the outside in. Uh, and then we also see kind of, you know, the outskirts of the city, the slums, and you, you get a real feel for, let's say, what humanity looks like now. <laughs> the world is dying. If we find a cure, that's the only way all this was worth it. Will there be any moment in the third movie where maybe you will discuss his decisions? Maybe you doubt his decisions? Uh, Without spoiling I think he's always done I think he's always done that. <laughs> really? He has, though. He's always doubted you. Yeah. <laughs> it's so always, true. He's always questioned it. It's very true. Um, very true. He goes into every situation so hot-headed and focused on one thing and just plows right in there. And I think Newt's that guy that, that um, just makes sure that he's actually thought about it mm -hmm. enough. Enough. That's a great way to describe it. <laughs> they took you because you're immune to a plague that's wiping out the human race. And they think you're worth sacrificing to find a cure. You always seem to be running for your lives in the three movies, actually. And uh, we're wondering, have you had a special training for that? I mean. Uh, combat training or maybe how to hold a gun, stunt training, I don't know. There's more of that on this one. With the gun like, stuff. Yeah. We did do a day, a day, an afternoon at a range. Yeah. Holding yeah. various different types of guns. Not much. Not much at all. Though. In the first movie we did a lot of training beforehand because they knew that we were going to have to be quite physical and I think they very quickly realised that we weren't physical people. <laughs> um, so they gave us a bit of training. The second movie we also did some training because we were filming at Altitude. We were in Albuquerque. So for safety reasons we had to do some training beforehand. Uh, but for this one I gave up completely and I decided to just eat pizza instead. <laughs> Thomas, you can save your friends. Or you can save us all. Uh, do you think there is a possibility of a following or maybe a prequel with you guys? I, I, I think do three it. is a good number as well. <laughs> um. I've done it. Beginning, middle, end. I've done it. My, my, my part is done. I will be there though. On opening day, when they make the other ones, someone else makes those other ones. I think we, I think I really like that it's three movies. I think there's something kind of old school about that. That's how franchises used to be. Um, and it's a beginning, a middle, and an end. And it's what we always set out to do. So I don't really know um, what more we could do with it. I'm really proud of these three movies, and um, I'm more than happy to let it just be that. Yeah, I mean, it'd be lovely to come back to the characters and come back and all work together again. But I feel like we've concluded things nicely. How does it stop? It stops when we find a cure. Can you describe uh, actually how Teresa feels about Thomas? I think they're soulmates. I've always believed that they are soulmates and they're connected in a very deep way. Um, I think they love each other in the most real sense. Uh, the way that you love a parent or that you love a, a sibling or you love a, you know, a friendship. I think they, they really are connected in a way that they will never have with anybody else. Uh, and I like that we never made it romantic, we never made it soppy, they don't hold hands and, mm -hmm. and you know, kiss each other's necks. It, it's just a very honest um, survival. Uh, and they, they do, they're connected in a way that no one else understands. Did you know about each other? I mean, have you had time to watch, I don't know, Game of Thrones of like Love Actually and Teen Wolf, maybe? Before all this, before yeah, this great adventure? <laughs> no, I hadn't seen any Teen Wolf beforehand. No. Um, I, 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 I haven't seen any since. <laughs> we did watch some in, um, in Louisiana. I remember it was on TV in Louisiana. Did you guys really watch Teen Wolf? Yeah, in, in fact, we made, we, we all sat down and watched one together at one point. Mm. You don't remember. <laughs> you didn't, didn't like it. Oh, I probably did not. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we turned off. <laughs>